motorcycle or motorbike today is one of the most widely used mode of transport in the whole world. Especially in the developing countries due to its low price and fuel economy. 58% motorcycles of the world is rode in the Asia Pacific and Southeastern Asian regions, leaving Japan as the only exception. The history of motorbike dates back to the second half of the 19th century. Back then, a motorcycle was nothing but a bicycle with an engine. Development of bicycle took place soon after the invention of steam engine. A blacksmith of Paris, Pierre Michaux, founded the first company of bicycles with pedals known as Velocipede. It was his son Ernest Michaux who fitted a small steam engine to one Velocipede and named it the Michaux Perox Steam Velocipede in the year 1867. Meanwhile in Germany, Gottlieb Wilhelm Daimler and his partner Wilhelm Maybach developed the first liquid petroleum engine known as Daimler's Dream. The engine was fitted in a two-wheeler in 1885, which is considered to be the first gasoline-powered internal combustion motorcycle. Daimler is better known as the father of the motorcycle because of this invention. Now, an out-of-the-context information. Daimler didn't stop here. His experiment with gasoline motors entitled him as the pioneer of commercial car manufacturing. The name of his company eventually became Daimler-Benz, which is now best known as Mercedes-Benz. Hildebrand and Wolfmüller brought to the world the first series of production motorcycle in the year 1894 and also the first to call it a motorcycle from German word Motora. So this is how it all started. Now I'm going to give a brief year-wise evolution background of the greatest company names in motorcycle history. Year 1901 Indian built the prototype of diamond-framed Indian single. Royal Enfield the English bicycle maker Royal Enfield introduced its first motorized bicycle with the engine mounted on the front wheel. Harley Davidson William S. Harley finalized an engine blueprint to be fitted to a bicycle. Year 1902 Indian The first motorcycle sold by Indian had a single cylinder engine. Triumph Powered by a 2.2 HP engine, Triumph produced its first motorcycle. Norton with French and Swiss engines, Norton Motorcycle Company launched its first production line. Year 1903, Harley Davidson. The first commercially produced motorcycle was launched by the legendary William S. Harley and Arthur Davidson. Husqvarna, a new name in the production of motorized bicycles. Husqvarna, a Swedish company, unveiled its first commercial motorcycle. Year 1904, Royal Enfield, a big leaf for the history of motorbikes. Royal Enfield first time fitted the engine inside a frame, making this a standard design for all motorbike manufacturers during 1904. Year 1906 Indian Motorcycle brings the first V-twin factory race bike. Year 1907 Indian, a street version of the factory race motorbike was introduced. This 633cc bike had the first American 42-degree V-twin production motorcycle engine. Year 1910, the first leaf spring front fork was introduced by Indian. The Birmingham Small Arms Company Limited, also known as BSA, a British company launched its first 3.5 horsepower motorbike. Year 1913, another revolutionary step by Indian motorcycle. The swing arm rear suspension design called the cradle spring frame was introduced. Year 1914 Once again a radical step by Indian motorcycle. Electric start on motorcycle got introduced. Year 1916 This year marked the introduction of the legendary Power Plus engine by Indian motorcycle with the 1000cc 42 degree V-twin engine. Year 1917 this was marked a crucial year for Indian motorcycle. This year, the United States set foot in World War I, so the company dedicated most of its production for the US Army. As a result, 
local sale had a striking drop due to lack of supply. In two consecutive years, till 1919, they contributed nearly 50,000 motorcycles to the US Army. Year 1918, due to World War I, Harley Davidson also provided the US military with almost half of their production of that year. Year 1921, though established in 1911, this Italian motorcycle manufacturer Benelli brought its first production in the commercial market in 1921. The Velo Motore was a 98cc lightweight two-stroke motorbike presented in two models, one for touring purpose and another for sport. Motoguzi This legendary motorcycle company is the oldest European manufacturer which is still in production. Motoguzi launched their first 8 horsepower Normale in the year 1921. Year 1923 The 1200cc Big Chief by Indian was developed and sold in retail market. Benelli The 175cc track bike was introduced. BMW Another big brand enters the world of motorcycle. BMW launched R32, its first inline crank with two horizontally opposed air-cooled cylinders boxer engine. The R32 had a 486cc engine with 8.5 HP and a top speed of 95 to 100 km per hour. Year 1924 With the launch of four-stroke 350cc motorbike by Royal Enfield, begins the era of the distinctive British four-stroke singles. Year 1926 The first 225cc ladies model was introduced by Royal Enfield. A new 175cc four-stroke motorbike with overhead camshaft was designed and introduced by Giuseppo Benelli. Year 1928 The JD series motorcycle was first introduced to market by Harley Davidson with dual overhead camshaft. Year 1932 Here comes the name we all Indians are eagerly waiting for. The legendary Bullet 350 with single cylinder, four valve engine. Year 1935 the first production motorcycles with hydraulic telescopic forks were BMW R12 and R17. Year 1937 The 498cc Speed Twin was launched by Triumph's chief designer and managing director Edward Turner. This motorbike had a top speed of over 90 miles per hour. The BSA M20 this year was the first motorbike to bring a heavy frame sidecar model with a simple 500cc single cylinder engine. Year 1940 It was war once again. During World War II, out of 10,431 motorcycles produced by Indian Motorcycle, 5,000 were specially manufactured for the French Army. Over 50,000 units of Triumph motorcycles were sold and used for the war. In this chaotic time, Benelli brought a new four-cylinder DOHC 500cc racing bike with supercharger. Year 1941 Especially for the US Army, Indian Motorcycle produced model 841 with a powerful 737cc side valve V-twin engine. During the time of war, Royal Enfield provided the British Army with 499cc WDJ2 motorcycles. Harley Davidson stopped their entire production of civilian motorcycles for military production. Year 1946 After the end of the Second World War in 1945, a year later, Triumph introduced three models, the Tiger 100, the Speed Twin and a smaller touring 349cc bike. All three models featured a telescopic front fork. Though the first BSA twin-cylinder motorcycle A7 was ready by 1939, but due to the outbreak of the Second World War, the launch was delayed until 1946. Year 1947 After the success of hydraulic telescopic fork by BMW in 1935 and Triumph in 1946, Royal Enfield first launched telescopic shock absorbers for the first time in 1947. Year 1948 Royal Enfield brings swinging arm rear suspension for the first time in its segment. Another familiar name in the racing world, MV Augusta entered the world of two wheels with their first prototype 98 in the year 1948. Year 1949 Now comes a name we all are very familiar with, the Thunderbird. The 650cc Thunderbird was introduced by Triumph 
with 4 stroke parallel twin engine having 34 bhp 4 speed transmission. The new Hydra Glide models were launched with hydraulic front forks for the first time by Harley Davidson. Dream or Model D with 98cc two stroke motor was the first Japanese production motorcycle by Honda came to market. Year 1950 the Indian Chief was relaunched with telescopic front forks. Its V-twin displacement was also increased to 1300cc. Ducati This renowned Italian brand entered the biking world in collaboration with Seattle with a 48cc motorbike weighing only 44kg with a top speed of 64km per hour. Year 1951 The noise, smell and fumes of two-stroke engines annoyed Mr. Honda in such a way that the company created its first 146cc four-stroke motorbike, the Dream E. KTM AG, another prominent name among bikers. An Austrian company developed their first prototype, the R100. Year 1952, Suzuki, the first motorized bicycle started being manufactured. In the Milan show, Ducati introduced the new 65TS cycle and cruiser which was a 175cc four-stroke scooter. Year 1953 Motocross A new form of motorsport became popular in Belgium. Here entered the lightweight single-cylinder Husqvarna which became a popular choice among off-road lovers. Year 1954 The Triumph Thunderbird became even more popular. Academy Award winner Marlon Brando rode the 650cc Thunderbird 6T in the movie The Wild One. This year, KTM launched the R125 Tourist. Year 1955, the 125cc four-stroke single-cylinder Coleda Cox and 125cc two-stroke single-cylinder Coleda ST was introduced by Suzuki. A renowned name in motorcycling history enters this year. The 125cc two-stroke single-cylinder street bike YA1 started selling in Japan being the first Yamaha motorized product. Year 1957 This year marks the birth of another Harley-Davidson tradition and legend. A new motorcycle called the Sportstar is premiered with 55 cubic inch or 900cc overhead valve engine. Sportstar in one year gained the fame of being the first superbike. The 125cc trophy was introduced as the first sports motorcycle by KTM. Year 1958 Harley Davidson brings the first hydraulic rear brake and new rear suspension on the new Duo Glide of the Big Twin model. Year 1959 The two stroke 125cc two cylinder Coleda Cell Twin was introduced with electric starter by Suzuki. Year 1961 in the month of April, at the Milan Fair, Ducati debuted Diana, a 250cc motorbike which was mistakenly renamed Daytona in the UK. Year 1962 One of the dream names in the motorcycling world, Kawasaki enters the market with Kawasaki B8, a 125cc street motorcycle manufactured by Kawasaki Aircraft. Year 1965 The T20 motorcycle by Suzuki came to market claiming to be the fastest 250cc motorcycle in the world. Year 1966 The legendary W1 came to the market with 650cc vertical twin engine by Kawasaki. Year 1967 This is that phenomenon year when Bert Munro from Invercargill, New Zealand made history. This 68-year-old motorcycle enthusiast set a world record of 184.087 miles per hour in Speedwick held in Bonneville Salt Flats with his heavily modified 1920 Indian Scout which had an original top speed of 55 miles per hour only. The record still stands in its category. Year 1968 The T500 with an air-cooled parallel twin 500cc engine was launched by Suzuki having the largest engine displacement than any other two-stroke of the time. World's first dual-purpose or dual-sport motorcycle, DT1 Enduro, was introduced with both on- and off-road capability by Yamaha. Another big name in the motorcycle industry, Aprila, 
enters the market with a gold and blue 50cc model. Year 1969 The first mass market bike to come with a disc brake was Honda CB750. The prototype of this model was showcased in the Tokyo Motor Show in the previous year. A two-stroke 500cc sport bike Kawasaki H1 Mark III was introduced. This was the first of the famous Kawasaki Triple. Year 1971 A new class is formed. A cruiser is born. Harley Davidson introduced the FX 1200 Super Glide. This bike had a sporty front with the chassis of their larger big twin motorcycles. A liquid cooled two stroke GT750 was launched by Suzuki. The first Ducati 750 GT came to the retail market this year. A 74 horsepower 750cc three cylinder two stroke Kawasaki H2 Mark IV became known as the king of the streets. This was the second production of Kawasaki Triple. Year 1972. The first six stroke motorcycle made available to public was a 750cc six cylinder motorbike by Benelli. Kawasaki 900 Super 4, popularly known as Kawasaki Z1, came with DOHC air cooled inline 4 engine and manual 5 speed transmission. The Z1 claimed the title of the most powerful Japanese 4-cylinder four 4-stroke four ever marketed. This year marked the entry of another big name for India. Bajaj Cheta, a 2-stroke 145cc scooter introduced by Bajaj, won the heart of millions of Indian families as an affordable means of commuting. Year 1974 GL1000 the first gold wing was introduced being the first Japanese production 4-stroke with water-cooled and also one of the first production bikes fitted with a fuel pump. The very first Japanese rotary engine in a production motorcycle, RE5, was launched by Suzuki. Year 1975, the very first single-shock production motocross bike YZ Monocross brought a revolutionary change in the world of motocross. Year 1976 Suzuki brought their first four-stroke motorbikes in 20 years, the GS750 and the GS400. Year 1978 BMW's first full-dress tourer, the R100RT, was introduced. Suzuki's first litter-class machine, GS1000E, hit the market. The first XS1100 with four-cylinder shaft drive was launched by Yamaha. Year 1979 The 1300cc Kawasaki Z1300 was launched. This muscle bike came with four-stroke DOHC water-cooled inline six engine. Year 1980 It's time for a belt instead of chain. The Kevlar belt that replaced the chain in Harley Davidson motorcycles was cleaner in running, needed less maintenance and adjustments. This year signifies the launch of the legendary GSX series by Suzuki with four stroke DOHC four valve engines. Year 1981 The Cruiser Virago 750 was introduced with the first air cooled V twin engine by Yamaha. The Bajaj M50 scooter hit the market. Year 1983 Husqvarna A new benchmark was set with the launch of a lightweight, easy to handle, air-cooled 500cc 4-stroke off-roader which marked the predecessor of a new generation of 4-stroke enduro racing bikes. This year marked the introduction of new K-series by BMW with a simplified and distinctive rear suspension and a single swinger. The K-100 had a 987cc inline 4-cylinder water-cooled fuel-injected engine. Year 1984 Yamaha FZ750 came with 5-valve per cylinder engine for the first time. The first member of the renowned ninja family, Kawasaki GPZ900R, also known as the ZX900A or Ninja 900, was launched with the world's first 16-valve liquid-cooled inline four-cylinder motorcycle engine. Year 1985 The Park Cruiser VMAX 1200 hit the market. This year marked the entry of another cruiser, 
the VN750 or Vulcan 750 was introduced by Kawasaki. Year 1987 The first full-fed four-cylinder street bike, the CBR600F Hurricane, was launched by Honda. A full-fed sport bike, Ducati 851, was introduced with a 90-degree between liquid-cooled and four-valve engine. The KLR650 marked the launch of a dual sport bike designed for both on and off road use. Year 1988 The first BMW came with ABS. Year 1989 BMW launched its first full fairing sport bike, the K1 with 987cc liquid cooled 4 cylinder FI engine. Year 1991 MV Augusta named Treadmarks was purchased by Kajiva. The Ducati 888 was introduced after the engine capacity was increased from 851cc to 888cc. Year 1992 The street version of Honda NR500 Grand Prix Racer NR750 hit the market with carbon fiber bodywork, a digital dash, underseat exhaust, single swing arm and fuel injection. Year 1993, the sport bike world witnessed the birth of another legend by Honda, the CBR 900RR, also known as the Fireblade. Year 1994, another sport segment bike, Ducati 916, was launched with 90 degree V twin, FI, 4 valve per cylinder, liquid cooled engine. Year 1996, India's first cruiser. The Royal Enfield 535cc Lightning hit the road. Year 1997, the new 750cc MV Augusta F4 range came with 4 cylinder engine. Year 1998, the year 1998 marked the birth of another prominent name in the history of motorcycle evolution. The legendary YZF R1 was introduced. This year, Yamaha also launched a four-stroke motocross bike YZ400F being the first mass-produced four-stroke motocrosser. Aprila RSV Mill, a 1000cc V-twin superbike launched this year became the flagship of Aprila. Year 1999, the Ducati 996 came to market. Year 2001, this year marked the entry of another premium Indian motorbike. The first Bajaj Pulsar had a 150cc air-cooled, single-cylinder, petrol, spark-ignited four-stroke engine with 13 bhp. Year 2002, the famous Royal Enfield Thunderbird entered the market. Year 2005, BMW modified the opposed twin-cylinder boxer engine with a displacement of 1170cc. The first motorcycle launched with this upgraded engine was the R1200 GS dual purpose motorcycle. The R1200 RT Tourer and R1200 ST Sports Tourer came within a short period of time. Year 2007 Motorcycle with airbag crash protection was first launched by Honda this year. Year 2009 the BMW S1000RR came out with 999cc inline 4 engine with a power of 193bhp to compete the Superbike World Championship that year. Year 2015 The discussion on evolution of motorbikes would remain incomplete without the one and only supercharged Supersport Kawasaki Ninja H2 and track-only variant Ninja H2R. The street legal Ninja H2 has a lower power output of 200 horsepower and H2R produces 310 horsepower. H2R is currently the most powerful and fastest production motorcycle on the market with a record top speed of 400 km per hour.